Fancy and Outward Hug Princess, and welcome to another lug haul. This one is um, the second half of the previous, so I'll put a link here to the previous one so you can catch up if you haven't seen it. Um, but this first item is the Jive. This is in Bloom Black. The Jive is one of my new favorites. Um, I really like it. It's a great size. I love the smooth zippers. Um, I, I've been using my Shibori Purple one all week, so... Uh, it's it's great. Um, it's not perfect. The one thing I don't like about it, I do like these handles. I love that we have that option. I like that they lay flat as well. The one little thing I don't like is that you have to like, if you want to get into this pocket, you like have to move that handle to really get into that pocket. Um, it is a zipper pocket, which is nice. There you go. And it has, you know, card slots in there. So this one has another compliment card. Wherever you go, may your guardian angel watch over you. And then on the back, it says lug, live life in color. And then it's got eight card, no, sorry, six card slots and a cash drawer. So a big slip right there. And then the pocket itself has a little bit of gusset too. It's about a, a finger or so. And so it's a very usable pocket. In my other one, I'm using my splits XL in that pocket. I'm not using the built-in wallet. That's just my thing. Um, and the, the splits itself fits in there very nicely, but you kind of have to just tilt it in. But then when I'm using that, it's, it's slightly bulky, not a problem. And the foam pocket right behind it, if I'm using the pocket inside, which is the clear view pocket right there, if I have anything, like I currently have these two battery packs in there for my phone. So when I go to slip my phone in here, I have to like angle it to get around the edge of those interior items. It's just a little thing, but it annoys me that I can't just go slip straight in easy. Um, and it's just my own fault because the way I packed it, but you just understand that the pockets, when they're that close together like that, interior, exterior, they do share space or you know edges and whatnot. So it just depends on how you pack it. You can optimize that a little bit better. Also inside you have two, elastic cargo pockets and you have a elastic key bungee with a clip which is very nice you have two pen slots inside the cargo pocket on this side and that's it for the interior the base has got a pretty good amount of space you can see there it also has feet on it which is nice they are plastic but it does stand up very very nicely the strap is crossbody shoulder strap. It's removable and adjustable, of course. You have the two, um, these are nylon like seatbelt material, but they have a padded roll in them. So they're very comfortable to grab. And then you have a zipper pocket on the back as well. The front pocket though is RFID. So for me, I just leave it as it came. I fold up that bottom edge, lay it flat. And then I actually store all my bags like this. So I can see them, they're all lined up and I can just grab from the stack. Um, I'm gonna leave this card out, put it with all my other cards. All right, now we're getting into some fun new things. So the first item I've already shown and you'll see it in the last haul if you've, if you've not watched it, but this is the Choo Choo Mini Pill Case. This one is in Bloom Black. I just love these little pouches. I just think they're so useful for so many things. You could use it as a coin purse, a card case. Although, I think the cards don't fit perfectly. Let's give this a try as an example. But you can use, well, that's a silica. You've got eight little pill slots. So a week of meds or four, four days of day, night, or whatever you want to put in there. I use them for earrings a lot. Um, the interior pattern is that nice ditzy floral thing. Um, the outside, of course, if you're not familiar with Bloom Black, sorry, my dog is patrolling the neighborhood. <laughs> Just gotta go outside and bark at him now. You got purple flowers, teal flowers, you got black background with the green, and you've got some other bits and other colors in there as well. It's really nice. Um, but this card is a slightly oversized card, but if this fits, others will fit. And it does fit laterally it's a little bit of a tight fit but you do have the diagonal because it's a, a thicker pouch so you can most definitely easily fit cards in there and you can fit a whole bunch of cards in there too so you could use it like that as a card case um you could use it as a little jewelry thing you can use it um kelly stop come here come here over here come on my little guardian she's all fired up because there's a lot of activity on the street today 
<laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I, I could go on and on, but so many ways you can use the little pouches. I think for me, it's perfect for a little accessory pouch in my purses, you know, chapstick, hand sanitizer, or um, a little tech pouch, etc. So you put your little cords in there and everything. So I got that. And then I also got the matching bobsled eyeglass case. I do, I have, I, I have no need for additional items, but I wanted to have the matching ones because why not? That's what, that's what Russell says. Why not? Boop. All right. So inside you have this um, sort of like a felt lined or fleecy feel to it. And that piece inside is removable. You can see the elastic edge on that lining on both sides. So this middle kind of semi-rigid piece is removable. And then you have a more flexible pouch. You can use it for just about anything you want. Again, all the things we just talked about for that. Tech case, eyeglass case, card case. You can use it as a wallet. You can use it, um, yeah, pretty much anything you can imagine that fits in there. So I like that a lot. And I love the smooth zippers. This one you can see a little bit more of the various colors and florals of the Bloom Black, which is nice. Um, it does look a little crooked when you look at it, but that's just because the way it was folded and shipping, it's not actually totally wonky. But even if it's a little bit wonky, okay, but anyway. And then it also has this clip on it, so you can clip it onto things, you know, you can put on a lanyard, you can put it on your bag, you can do whatever. So I got three matching sets on top of the ones I already had. I know it's excessive, that's what I do, but. There you go, so that way I can mixy-matchy or matchy-matchy and do all of the things I love to do. So I'm gonna set that aside. The next set I got is the same items, same two items, but in the new Sea Life Blue. And this pattern uh, is really fun. It's got that light background, which is not my tend to be favorite, but it goes really nicely as an interior piece in a darker bag. Um, lots of things like the navy bags, the other sea stuff I have. Um, let's see how well it goes with this new one. This is my new Vera Bradley Shore Enough. So it kind of even goes with that. Certainly thematically it does. Oops, sorry. My phone. Shoosh. Silence. Um, yeah, so that's an option. Um, it also goes with Ocean Blue. Not perfectly, but you got some of these like green blues in here that it kind of pulls out. Yeah, so I just got accessory pieces. I don't think, I could change my mind of course, but I don't think I want a bag, a, a big bag with that light background, but I like it on the accessory pieces. So there you go. And on the back you can kind of see, we got a big fish, we got a seahorse, you got corals, you got starfish, sand dollars, you know, more seahorse. So lots of fun sea life things. The interior of it is just a light blue, actually. Um, it does have, here, let's take this thing out. At least on one, one side. Yeah, it does have a pattern. It has stripes and then it has like a bit of sea life in there as well on the pattern. So that's kind of fun. And I'm just going to put this back in here. You can see how easily that goes in and out. You just put it up under the edge. Interestingly enough, the, the Bloom Black one had a matching interior color. This one has a gray. I would have thought blue. I'm not real picky about that. Just a note on the detail. <laughs> uh, yeah. Things you notice, not necessarily a problem. Okay. I don't know why I have trouble putting that in, but it's not really that hard. <laughs> Um, so there it goes. It's right back in. I'll just put the paper in. That's fine. Actually, I don't need the papers. It's harder to use it with paper in it. Yeah, so that's those ones. And then, in the same pattern, I got a peekaboo. Because, again, <laughs> not everything in my life is about cruising. But I'm really excited to be able to get out in the world again and to see old friends and make new friends and you know not be alone at home all day with my dog every day i love her of course but that's not yeah anyways yeah let's get on with our real lives this has a nice strap it has a wristlet which is obviously removable and then it has a removable adjustable strap that you can use 
for the bag. So you just hook a wristlet on there, or you can hook that on and carry it either, you know, around your neck or crossbody. You could make it into kind of a belt bag, kind of dangling down, however you want. So many ways you could use it. I think I will use it either as a wristlet or like um, probably just around my neck, like a lanyard where I can put in here my phone. I can put, um, well, a few things. My CPAS card right here. There's a clear ID window. And then on the opposite side, you have a privacy pocket. So I can put a few dollars for tips around the ship. I got my CPAS card, my phone. I could also throw my phone inside or I could throw some playing cards in here, little puzzle book that I have, little things in a pan or two. Um, my uh, reusable straws. I can have little little bits that I just want to have with me around the ship as I bop around all day. Um, and then I still have everything right there with me and I don't have to carry a big bag. I don't have to be, you know, I could still be hands-free to do things, you know, whatever. That's stuff I like. Put my trivia prizes in there. <laughs> anyway, fun stuff. It is RFID, which is great. And it's a nice size pouch. It really is. You can use it for a lot of different things. It's great for an everyday bag, whether you're using it as a phone pouch or not. I really like this outer pocket where you can put your phone because you can actually still use the phone while it's in there. And oh my gosh, I'm glad we're looking at this because look, I got perfect pattern placement. So even if I put nothing in there, I have this beautiful turtle and flower to, uh, what is that, a sea dollar? Yeah. So there you go, I'm like, yay. And, and I like the front one too. I got a pretty good mix of all the different critters. So that's really cool. But you put your phone in that pocket and if you put it facing out, you can actually use the phone through the plastic, which is great. You know, you, can, you don't have to contaminate it and whatnot. Um, so that's really cool. And I do have a few of these already because ship or no ship, they're a great little accessory piece in any bag, honestly. Let me just put all these little bits back in until I use this. I'm not sure it's necessary, honestly, but that way I just know if I've used things or not. Okay, put all that back inside, and I'm actually gonna hook that wristlet strap on to the outside. Maybe, maybe not, okay. Then, in the same style, I got the Shibori Purple. And actually, this would make a perfect pouch inside my Jive, which I'm using right now. I'm currently using my Shibori Purple Seesaw, or Runway Envelope, basically the same thing, but um, it's a Seesaw. So this is the same rough dimensions for the interior of my bag. But I don't need it right now. The next thing I got is another new item. This is the Skeeter, uh, a Skeeter Mini actually, but this is an ocean blue. I think um, what I was talking about with the Jive with those top handles, I think they're great and I like the size of them. I like that I can put my arm through and carry it on my arm like that too. But if it had a top handle like the Ranger, like the Skeeter, like some of the other bags, if it had a top handle and it was wide enough, I mean, okay, let's talk about that for a sec. Because this zipper goes right down the middle, the top handle would not work. You'd have to shift the zipper forward or aft and then have the handle on the other side. So it would open, but you'd still have the same capacity. It would just not be a middle zipper. I'm not saying that's necessarily the way to go. It's one way to solve the problem of these. I like that they lay flat and are not in the way when you're not using them. But if it was a, a big enough top handle, you could still put your arm through it. I, I highly doubt that would be the way that it would go. But I just, I just hate, <laughs> I just, it's fine. Finding it annoying is all in my usage, but I do love the Jive. I like it a lot. Um, I'm interested in this piece and I meant to, sorry, I didn't do it again. I get ahead of myself sometimes. I get excited about sit down and let's go over the hall. But it's roughly the size of a coupe. So the way I look at it is sort of the coupe is the east west and the Skeeter is north south. And they're slightly different, obviously, but basically that's the way I see it. And both of them have the same capability. They're both convertible. So there's your loops to make it a belt bag. I honestly got this and the coupe in the same color. It, not that it matters, but, but I could put them both on the same belt and I have the east, west and the north, south. So if I wanted to do like a longer hike, I can have one on each hip. I could push them around. I could do so many different things, but then I could carry additional things. 
Or you can put a Skeeter and a Huggy or a coupe, you can put all three, you know, you can make just so many things. Not that you want to have these pouch belts all around, but if you're going hiking or going for a long walk with the dogs, you're going to want your phone and some sanitizer mask, uh, maybe your sunglasses that you're going to on and off. I don't know. Your Skeeter um, can also, you can clip your bobsled on there and have your sunglasses on the outside for using it as like a purse. I got it to use again for those light days when I just want a simple light carry item, a grab and go out of a bigger bag perhaps, um, bag in a bag, which is great. I like the uh, top zipper space here. This is a big, easy pocket. The interior, by the way, is Stars and Shells sand. We got a um, silica in there. But this pouch is perfect for your phone. And my phone's a 6S Plus and it still fits well within there quite easily. So very accessible, whichever way you want to face it. Nice smooth zippers. These zippers, just like the coupe, has those little fabric tabs on them as well. Then you have the handle and your connections for the crossbody, shoulder strap, whatever you want to use there. And then forward of that, you have your second large pocket. This is your main pocket. What I was talking about with the Jive, if they offset the zipper to the forward edge or the back edge, then you have the handle capability there and you still have that full pouch accessible. See, it's like it's just hooded instead of straight down the middle. I hope that's making sense to you all what I'm talking about. Um, but this is just a big pouch. There's no um, extra interior organization or anything but it's quite a good size. You can see when you look at the side of the bag, you have about a finger here, a finger in the aft pocket, and the middle is two fingers thick. So you have three separate spaces. So if you put a bulky item in any one of those pockets, yeah, it's gonna kind of push into the others, but if you keep things relatively um, flat in the outer pockets, you have that whole middle space for a lot of things, actually. You can put a lot in there. And there you have your strap, um, which is obviously matching. So. That is the Skeeter Mini. I'm looking forward to give this a try. I think this is another great item for cruising uh, again, or travel in general, because it's small, it's lightweight, it's a bag in a bag kind of thing, and you could take that alone and go on your excursions or running around the ship with just a lightweight bag that you can carry all the little things you might want to have um, at any given time, yeah. So then, I'm gonna all these scraps up here. Guess what? I got one more set. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this is Butterfly Gray, and you got the bobsled and the Choo Choo Mini. You can see those beautiful colors with the purples and teals. I love that. Kelly's uh, fiddling with the blinds. And then my favorite wallet from Lug. I do like them all. I, I have pretty good representation of all the different wallets, but my favorite is the Splits XL. It is a wristlet style with a removable wristlet strap. This is in butterfly gray. Again, it has that cloud quilting. And then on the back, it has a big coin slot with the gusset so you can really get in there and pick out your coins or other things you store in there. You have two main zipper compartments and I like that this allows it all to be secured. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. Um, so you can stick a lot of things in there and then zip it all up in there. So if you have loose receipts or papers or notes, it's still gonna be pretty secure. You can put your phone, even my 6S Plus, can fit in the back section and zip in no problem. And I do that sometimes. You have a mirrored look here. You have a big slot or a caster on either side. You have six card slots, three and three, three and three. And then on the middle divider, you have three more here and opposite, you have three more there. So you have a lot, a lot of spaces for cards. You can put cash and receipts and other things here as well. And then in the front section, and this is like my main section that I use, um, you have a clear ID window at the bottom, and then you have one, two, three, four more card slots. This one says, choose happy. So four more card slots, you have an elastic for your pen, and then I use this slot as my cash drawer, honestly, because if I'm gonna pay for something, I've got my cards, my ID, my cash drawer, and then you have a big slip here as well. So I use it for that, but you can actually use this for your phone. And it is a perfect fit for, for phones at least up to 6S plus size because there it is. Um, and you can close that up and zip it, no problem. When I have extra cards, because I double stuff these slots, it makes it a little bit tighter fits because 
that creates a, a bulk there, but it still works. It still totally works. So if I wanted to use this for the day as a grab and go and just carry this all day, I would probably put my cache in the back space and put the phone here for quick access. Um, but it depends. I do it both ways. It, it all depends on my mood and what I'm doing with it. So there you go. Um, so that's the Splits XL in Butterfly Gray and also in Boho Floral Black. And I'm really happy with the pattern placement because I got a solid flower, my favorite color, purple. And then I have all the other like colors and florals represented as well. And I really like that. It is a little bit harder to see with that beautiful cloud quilting. I think it looks very nice and complimentary, but you can see the pattern a little bit better on the back where it's not quilted. So the colors, I think, just stand out a little bit better that way. Um, and I like it both ways. It's fine. I love it just how it is. I'm just observation. So there's that. But the, the wallet itself is exactly the same. There's what the interior looks like. It's like the pink speckled stripes. So there you go. Um, definitely a big fan of the Splits XL. I have a bunch of them now. And then the very last thing is thank you to Lug. I do love their little freebies with the order sometimes. This is obviously multiple orders. And so I've got a Bloom Sand and a Small World Multi Pen. I love the pens. Um, they make great gifts too. So if you have duplicates, um, you could share with a friend or you can give them as gifts to other people. You can, yeah. For me right now, they're in like a user gift pile. And then the ones that I have just one of are in my save and no touchy pile, which is funny because well, I have enough of them. It's okay. I can use them and save them <laughs> for now anyways. But that's it for this haul. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a great week and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.